Right guys, welcome back to the channel. So basically out of all the videos I've ever made, I've realized I haven't done a video on 808s. So today we're gonna cover some tips on 808s and how to get them hitting hard. And honestly, there's not really too much to it. Um, this is something I really had a big problem at the beginning with, um, getting my 808s to hit properly. So if your 808s aren't hitting, uh, we're gonna solve that. And yeah, that is basically what this video is gonna be about. If you're new here, follow me on Instagram, at my easy scrub if you're new. Uh, we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so please help me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's get into it. Right, so now we are in Logic. So I've just pulled up a beat here. So basically, I'm going to show you two different ways on how I do my 808s. So the first would be with the sample. So for example, here is a beat I've made here. So yes, that is definitely a beat. So I'm gonna show you how I would go about making 808s for this. So as you can see in here, we have a sample. Um, I think this sample is from Splice. So as you can see here on the file name, it's actually got E. But what I'd always start out by doing is just to make sure is and there's a free plugin here called Keyfinder. So what I'm gonna do is just find this sample again. So we're just gonna drag that in and then click run batch analysis. And it turns out that that sample was wrong because as you can see here, we're actually in G. So if you're in Logic, I'm pretty sure they'd have this in FL Studio as well. What you can do is come on to your 808 track. And as you can see here, I've got this uh, transposer plugin on. So what you do is just come down here, transposer. So you put this to, for example, uh, in my case, G. So G minor. So what this does is it basically keeps you in key. So no matter what I do with this 808 now, it'll all be in key. So this works amazing if you don't know uh, music theory or if you're just lazy. So that is my first trick for how I typically lay down um, 808s. So now what we're gonna wanna do is add some distortion. So I'm gonna show you how I process uh, my drums. I do this with every 808. I route it to a bus. So for example, we've got bus one here and we just got this overdrive plugin on. So this is a stock plugin in Logic. There's another free plugin as well, which you'll probably see a lot of people on FL Studio use and it's called Camel Crusher. So you can use that as well. The reason why you wanna put it on a bus is because you can adjust this ascends knob and this will like distort it more or less so i just have my sends around there and these are basically my overdrive uh, settings if you've heard any of the uh, placement songs i've been getting recently uh, this is basically the settings i've been using and then we're going to get into the eq so a big thing what i was doing when i first started uh, producing was i was just like over eqing everything so i was just like doing all this and most of the time, these 808s have already been EQ'd before they've bounced out, so you don't even need to do anything to them. So in this case, this 808's out of uh, my free drum kit. So go get that if uh, you want in these sounds. All these sounds in basically this drum kit have already been EQ'd, so they don't need anything doing to them. So literally with all the 808s I use, I do nothing to the EQ. This leads me on to the melody. So for the melody, um, basically all the time I just do, you've probably seen this in a lot of videos, just the minus 200. So what this is doing is it's allowing space for this 808. So if we just go back to this 808 track, um, we turn this analyzer on. You can see a lot of the EQ is sort of around this area, which is like the bass. So you don't want to muddy that up, you just want that to be the 808. So EQing out 200 hertz will allow space for that. Then additionally, the distortion that we're adding is adding these high frequencies here. So the overdrive is making it so the 808 can be heard on things like laptop speakers and phone speakers. And that is pretty much all I do for the 808. And then this leads me into one of the most important parts, which is the kick. So this is super important if you're wanting to make your drums. So for example, I'm using this 808 here called Habit and this kick called Force. So them to work uh, perfectly. So I'm just gonna switch this kick out and show you another technique if you do not have sounds that like work together. So we're gonna go for this heavy one. 
So that one still works pretty well. But if your 808s are clashing too much, what you can do is go down here and add this again plugin. And there's a phase invert thing here. So what this does is this just inverts the signal. So it'll allow more space for either the kick or the 808. I always put this on the kick. And that normally solves like 99% of my problems. So that is basically how I would go about doing 808s on a sample. So now I'm gonna show you with a MIDI. Right, so now I'm gonna show you how I would go about 808s with a MIDI. So I just made this uh, melody really quick, which sounds like this. It's like an emotional juice well D thing. And we've got this 808 here which is also on my drum kit. So instead of using the transposer like we did on the last melody, so what you can do is actually just drag this full melody down. So now we have this. So we're just going to delete these top notes. So what we can do now is just highlight them and we're gonna pitch it down to semitones. Right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is 808 slides. So I always seem to put an 808 slide on like the end of this second bar. It acts like a bit like a transition. So what we're going to do is just go to Alchemy. Once your 808's in, we go to this Voices here and just put this onto Legato. Then just turn this to 8 if it's already not on there. And this is where the magic sort of happens. So the higher this is, the more slidey it's going to be. So yeah, you get the point of that. So I like mine around 45. So yeah, so that is 808 slides. Right guys, so that has been it for the video. Hopefully this helps you guys with your 808s a bit. If you have any questions, um, comment below and I'll be sure to answer them. Um, yeah, I think that is pretty much it for the video. Follow me on Instagram at my easy subscribe if you're new. Uh, please help me get to 1,000 subscribers. And yeah, that's pretty much been it. And um, thanks for watching.